Hey guys, I am Gary from the Balance team. On March 19th Balance patch, we decided to do some nerfs like the usual, starting by reducing the Mace's damage on Ranger by 15%, because it's overperforming in the endgame content. But in return, we will rework a useless trait to enhance Ranger sustain. Next we going to nerf the Guardian Elite spec the Willbender. No we won't. But why, Willbender is clearly overperforming just like Ranger. We won't nerf our favorite child. In fact, let's nerf Imperial Impact on Vindicator. But boss, support Vindicator is not even a thing in PvE content, so why nerfing it in the first place, that does not make any sense. Bold of you to assume we follow logic, when we are balancing our game. Anyway, let's do those changes. Oh boy. That's our peak balancing performance. Oh right, I almost forgot. Let's nerf Tempest for fun. Hey guys, it's been a week since the March balance patch release. Thankfully, the patch didn't change much for the open world builds that I made so far. Tempest got 5% condition damage nerf. Other than that, the only builds that got affected in this patch are Revenant specs and Ranger specs. So let's start with Ranger specs. Mace has got 15% damage nerf since it was overperforming in the endgame content. But in return, the ranger received a new trait that steals a massive amount of enemy health every time you CC. With this new trait, all the ranger builds, Silly Untamed, Silly Soul Beast, Silly Druid, and Power Untamed will benefit greatly from it. The gear is the same, but the only thing I prefer to change is replacing the short bow on Untamed with offhand mace to have the ability to remove conditions, gain more barriers, and to simplify the DPS rotation. For those who didn't watch my old Revenant video, I mentioned that you can play all Revenant specs, Vindicator, Renegade, and Herald by using the same gear and weapons. The only thing I will change in this update video for the Renegade rework sake. I will add Sigil of Corruption on Shortbow instead of Virality Sigil for Renegade and Vindicator specs. Since the Shortbow has high base power damage, it will be a great weapon to use to farm mobs and to collect more condition damage to burst veterans or bosses faster when you swap to Mace Axe. Your courage will be remembered and rewarded. Now let's talk about each one of the Revenant specs. On the March 19th balance patch, 
Rienet decided to nerf the Imperial Impact Trait for no reason by removing the ability to extend the boon duration for one second, causing everyone to panic and think Vindicator is nerfed for good. But in reality, Vindicator can still keep the important boons uptime, 25 Mites, Quickness, Protection, and Region. The only boons that won't be 100% uptime after the patch is Vigor, Resistance, and Stability. But here's the good thing, even though those boons won't be 100% uptime, we will miss them only for a few seconds. So Vindicator is still insanely powerful and able to face tank open world bosses mechanics and kill champions in less than a minute. But if you still want more boons and permavigor, you can travel to Arborstone to charge both defensive and offensive protocols. Renegade got a huge rework to its utility skills. Now, if you use Renegade Utility Ice Razor to keep the vulnerability 25 stacks uptime, the second utility will have an enhanced effect. Dark Razor will grant resistance to have perma resistance uptime for good passive heal per second. Razor Claw to inflict extra damage to burst mobs faster. Break Razor healing skill to generate more barriers if needed. Personally, my favorite change in the Renegade was the CC skill Dark Razor. This utility skill can now break a boss defined bar instantly to inflict more damage. The negative aspect of these changes is that by using two utility skills, you won't have enough energy to use your short bow skills, same as Vindicator. But as you can see, by camping on a mace axe, you will deal more damage. So Renegade DPS rotation is less intimidating and more survival. And finally, Herald. Nothing has changed for Herald since the SOTO release. It doesn't have the same self-sustain to face tank as Vindicator, and the damage difference is slightly higher compared to Vindicator. It also doesn't have strong AoE skills to burst mobs faster, like Renegade, but it's still a fun spec to play, and can easily generate many boons for you and other allies. For relics, you have two options, either the same old Fractal Relic to increase the damage on a single target, or the Akeem relic like Vindicator and Renegade to inflict AoE conditions.
That is everything for this update video. Make sure to join the Discord and check the pinned messages for build links, more showcases, DPS rotation, and screenshot guides. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.